strong, but in the process, one man was left badly injured. Emily Campbell is live 630, breaking news as it happens. News Talk Radio, TJAD 800. In the case of today, they uh, they got an April Fool's joke, but there's some backlash here. So what happened? All right. So what they introduced early in the morning is a feature called Mic Drop, and this is for their Gmail email system. And the idea was that you know if you're in a back and forth conversation with a bunch of people, and maybe you're having an argument, you finally sort of can send the last message. Instead of hitting the send button, there'd be this new button that appeared called Mic Drop. And when you sent it, it added an animation to your text that included a minion, those little yellow guys. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, sometimes uh, four years. Okay. That's happened to people, right? Yeah. I've never had a real yeah. alignment. Uh, the last one was 33 years ago. But you changed your car be four years ago. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Do, you, do you ever, do you ever, well, I'm going to ask you, do you ever go change your tires? Like, have you ever bought, like, my summer tires, I've had to buy a replacement set of tires during those four years that you've owned the car? No, never. Yeah. The, the thing is, is this, is, is that I, I've driven, uh, my, 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 my authority is a city, yeah. but I've, I've always been on Highway 401, 417, mm -hmm. Highway 17, always going west, you know, oh, Ottawa, oh. Kingston, the first. Okay, so John, so what okay, I'm, I'm and, thinking... And, and no real alignments. I had one real alignment, and I thought it was a rip-off, and I, I still think it's a rip-off, and I don't yeah, think a week ago, I'm going to get to it today, so it's definitely going to be the international affairs. I don't know if it's the military control of the international affairs, it's also going to be the But I think that's kind of unfair. It has to be hard. It has to be kind of consultant. Yeah, I think it's hoping this sort of horror happens far away, but not here. And are we too quick to blame our government? Don't forget that I'm making a mistake for the model of life living in the city of Africa. I'm going to have a cheap order and good government. Are we being a lot of style with the West Coast and the West Coast? Now, I wonder about that sometimes, Stephanie, this idea that, you know, West Coast is far away from us, kind of far away. You know, this kind of stuff happens over there. It doesn't happen here in Toronto or Montreal or Port Vancouver. Do you worry about that? What? It was my turn, buddy! Yeah, individual will be inspired by what they see. And we're going to reach out. The mission of Panamanian law firm, Netflix Fonseca, pretty much revealing, allegedly, how the rich and powerful hide their money. And there's lots of Canadians that have been sitting there and found CJ is in the air hunger. Let's support us on Facebook. All right, thank you all for this Friday, too. Let me come back in just a second and check in the course. It's coming out here. Here's what it is. That's what I'm going to drop you down. I'm going to drop you down. So let's go down here. We're going to be able to get down here.
The hell you doing, buddy?
to the Canadian people. I plan to hike the Pamuk. He said they lied. And a number of other people are also saying things yeah. like that. There's well, a lot there in the middle of high water over this one. Okay, really? uh, busy into your after the Jean Talon area. Looks like we've got a problem in the 50th southbound around Nuns Island. Very heavy traffic now as you try to board the Champlain Bridge. 50 northbound bogs down from uh, well before Wellington through the Turcon. Also some issues on Highway 20. That cell vehicle center lane at First Avenue removed, thankfully. The backup, though, is still from 43rd Avenue. The 13 northbound hits more to Henri Barassa. Laurentian Auto had some earlier problems. Still pretty busy as you make your way from Boulevard to up up toward the 440. Celebrate in style with Economax during their anniversary sale. Get a 4K 42-inch LED TV at the incredible price of 459 in stores and on Economax South Beach. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes on CJAB 800. Next support is All right, thank you very much, Les. Coming up in just a sec, CJD reporter Shu Yi Lee. The man uh, appeared today in court. A man police believe killed that young woman uh, at the Maxi store in St. Michelle on Sunday. We'll get you the latest on that when we come back. The Aaron Rand Show, brought to you by Dormy Vu. Find Sealy mattresses with technology that's built right in. Don't miss your chance to get a breathtaking deal during Dormy Vu's Sealy High Tech Sale. On now. Wake up, know it all. The Andrew Carter Morning Show. A real live member of the Eagles is coming to Montreal to give away Don Henley tickets before 7 o'clock. Here's the new Jungle Book movie, Too Scary for Your Kids. Find the answer at 8.20 with Richard Krause at the movies. And at 7.50, Dr. Mitch tells you why it always seems that you're stuck. Weekdays, 5.30 to 9. The road to exhilaration starts at the Lexus Thursday <coughs> event. Take advantage of an incredible 1.5% off Nissan finance rate for rates as low as 0.4%. Plus, receive up to three complimentary monthly payments. We'll also reward you with export credits of up to $5,000 on select Lexus models. The Lexus three-day event only runs April 13th to 15th. Book your test drive today. Some conditions apply. So what is this interval? And it depends on... How much, what we're talking about, how much extra is coming out of your box over here, and it's already a done deal. That's the best last to the best. On the 10th of December, it requires two doctors that to agree to a patient's request for assistance to death. And we've had some comments about this from the health minister. The best health minister did come for us with a doctor. turbo engine that delivers 228 horsepower, 18-inch wheels, X-Drive all-wheel drive, roomy cabin, and so much more. So hurry, give it a spring fever, and stop by your Greater Montreal BMW dealer to discover the ultimate driving experience courtesy of BMW. By making your... They brought it back, they brought it back, but they called it Paddle Table. Very similar game show, where... The audience and the wife of the couple are in on the question. Yeah. And the man comes back into the picture and he has to answer the same question correctly. In this case, you got to get three out of five. And then we uh, put together a great prize pack for you. We will also oh. throw out the fall from grace. And the fall from grace, um, as the trivia show initiates understand, is we usually like to take... Fairly friendly, move, good natured wanna... shots at someone or something that we feel has indeed fallen from grace. Oh, no, I was My for... head. Um, this week, Sarah, who is our fall from grace victim? You. There are no Canadian hockey teams in this year's Stanley Cup playoffs, so I'd say Canadian hockey has fallen from grace. It has. Uh, it has indeed move. fallen from grace. So we will see. We have five questions about Canadian hockey or Canadian hockey teams. Um, here is question one. one of the and you're absolutely right, Sarah. Each actor memorized the other's lines as well as his own so that they would effectively know what was on each other's minds and what the other was thinking at all times. And even be able to finish each other's sentences. Yeah, that was the key part. You see, um, and about how there are mortgage brokers who are talking about telling our clients their compensation. You wanted to address that. Well, what ended up happening was uh, in British Columbia, uh, and there's a couple of other provinces, they actually... Um, 
<laughs> Sorry. Dinner is at 6, by the way. Okay, That's very good. good. Sorry, we got a text that says it's dinner at 6. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to dinner. Bus and hop along the Pacific coast of the South American country. A march today, which began at Jerry Park, targeting budget cuts to subsidize the fire break. So it has severed my connection. My husband had been a member, severed his connection. We're there and decided we should receive it. The story that today that you know from this way, he's now saying he wants to be paid to all his jobs or 11% of his workforce. The problem for himself is that sales of personal computers are continuing to flow. And now I really talk about this, and I do agree that, uh, that uh, I don't think we should be locking people up to drug use of any kind because we're obviously going to have to hustle with things that's necessary. And this concern, and I know it's a good problem, Canadian students are responsible for drug policy. Yeah. So, is young people, especially in Canada, are they going to be able to do that? Are they going to be able to do that? The police and city officials spent a lot of effort into getting the word out that no concert would take place, but still, fans of the new metal band showed up in droves and screamed the city. And from U.S. President Barack Obama, you may have heard some of this. Here's his full Facebook post today. It says, today, the world lost a creative icon. Michelle and I joined millions of fans from around the world in mourning the sudden death of Prince. Few artists have influenced the sound and trajectory of popular music more distinctly or touched quite so many people with their talent. As one of the most gifted and prolific musicians of our time, Prince did it all. Funk, R&B, rock and roll. He was a virtuoso instrumentalist. ...will be given the opportunity to chime in before the judge signs off. But Aaron, back to what you said right off the top. Our understanding is it's about $5,000 to each vehicle owner. Uh, the estimates are that when you factor in all of the retail costs, just for what's about to be announced, it will cost Volkswagen 10 To work on that tunnel thing. Okay, and then there's this story here about the uh, Myanmar Media Company. I like that just because of the alliteration, but uh, what's the deal with this? So what did they do? So last week, Myanmar celebrated their Buddhist New Year Festival. Now, under the previous military-backed government, civil servants were allowed to accept gifts of up to 254 U.S. dollars. But there's a new government in town. They've lowered the gift limit to... ...a good way to getting home after, you know, getting and getting doctors. I think, I think we are going to have to do something. ...the private sector do this and take this risk. This is why I'm so against what's going on in, in the Catherine Wynne government, where she's basically taking a billion nine out of the economy and forming a slush fund where she and the finance minister hand-picked green initiatives. How dumb is that? Track record is zero at doing this. And now we know even the biggest companies go bankrupt. All of that money, in my assumption, in my, my world, is going to go to waste. And we're already $308 billion. Mr. Rodney, pizza, three each. And Kalida Cook, ice cream and drug six Sunday cones at $3.99 each. All until Wednesday. Take your flyer for details. Travel go. We love food. Age Coke. It's a Montreal drug and alcohol treatment center that takes your healing and life to heart. My name is Peter, one of the co-founders of Andy's House. I am a retired teacher and a recovering alcoholic. I waited a long time to get help. If you or someone you know is suffering, we can help you now. Don't wait. Life is too short. Back in gift cards when you spend $100 or more. Details at Rona.ca. Good afternoon. It's the hell? I'm Richard Deschamps. Sky clearing tonight. You know how to, 16 you know how to drive There's you? Cold weather coming you know out after the news. Here's what's making news right now. Police in Minnesota hold their... <laughs> to the program, Mike. Thank you. Before we talk about you, tell us about your entrepreneurial path, including your work with Kobo. Sure. I, I started building companies at age 21 after building propulsion systems and winning the Mid Olympics. Got my start with Elon Musk in uh, California and most recently uh, built Kobo into uh, Amazon Kindle's number one competitor worldwide. Congratulations on that. I think when I had the last on this program in Toronto, we, we spoke about the uh, success of Kobo. So, so huge kudos to you. And now we're looking to do, to do it again with Lee. Please tell us what is Lee. 
Well, we have this idea about the future of healthcare, and that that future would be more about the consumer versus doctors and hospitals. And the manifesto is a consensus document that came out of a really tough and really ultimately very inspiring process where, where groups across society with very different, sharply differing interests, the environmentalists and the